You're listening to the Nerd to Know Media Network. So let's go full hog. I'm saying nothing. Can we really? That's L- cool. Listen, I love this platform. Donald Trump time travel conspiracy. Now I heard his son, Baron Trump, apparently is the time traveler. Here we go. Here's the they one. They travel Here's together, you know. They, they travel, travel together. together. So yeah. okay, please explain this to me because I didn't put this. I didn't put this on the docket. You guys did. So explain it to me. Oh, but there's, so it's, there's it's Baron like Trump. Apparently he's he's the time traveler and he's he's like he's in Marty this sort of thing. It's like Marty and Don. You know what I mean? So basically, look, this 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 story comes from it's a pamphlet and children books from from the late nineteenth century, so eighteen ninety and eighteen ninety six respectively, and then it was published as a, a proper book in eighteen ninety eight. Lockwood published first book, the uh, Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump and His Wonder yeah, Dog yeah, Bolter. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I think they, so. Here we go. Dave will, will be the man to give context on this. Um, I will say that the only um, the only experience that I've had with this Trump. Um, being a time traveler deal is to do with some of the QAnon stuff that's going around YouTube, and that he's going to come back in twenty twenty. He, he and, does really look like him, though. Uh, it, is, so it is. It is. It, it is. So much. It's kind of weird. I like it. Is it weird. So yeah, put some context on this for me and some people that I know, please, guys. Right. I, I'm at a loss. As well. So these are from Four Chan here, Dave. So speak to this because I think this was your yeah. inclusion. Okay. Well, the, the very, very important thing you have to understand that kind of sets the stage for this story is we all know about Nikola Tesla. We mentioned him a couple of times. One of the things he was supposedly working on was time travel at the time of his death. When he did die, uh, the FBI and the Office of like Alien Intelligence or something, not those kind of aliens that are real, the kind that come in illegally, which I guess are also real, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so they, had, uh, they came in, uh, they collected all of his documents, um, if you watch Expedition Unknown, they still haven't found all the documents. And they took all these crates to a lab in MIT where they were set about the task of go through this. If there's anything in here, if there is death ray stuff, blah, 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 that can help us, let us know. Because this is, you know, 1943, we're talking, you know, World War II. Some crazy things were going on. Tesla was getting spied on by the U.S. He was getting spied on by the Russians. He was trying to sell his, people always say death ray, but really it was an anti-war uh, device to everybody. Well, here's where the Trump factor comes in, which I, this is true. There's nothing conspiratorial about this. It's 100% true. John Trump worked at MIT and was given Tesla's papers and told, you're the guy that's going to go through these. Now, we have two, two possibilities that we can conclude. One is that Trump's, this is uh, Donald Trump, the current U.S. president's uncle I'm talking about, uh, we, we can believe that John Trump was truthful when he said that there was nothing in here that wasn't anything above being uh, self-promotion. There's nothing you know, substantial in here that I can give you guys. Or we can believe that John Trump came across this time travel information schematics, decided I'm not going to turn these over to the government. I'm going to bury these away and keep them in my family. And then lo and behold, he dies in 1985, but who's who's up and rising and thriving? We have this this peculiar Donald John Trump character who will eventually go on to become the president of the United States, and we can get I'm into one and all WrestleMania yeah, too. Yeah, I'll throw that in. and we can, we get into all the little nitty gritty details. I mean, honestly, we could spend a whole show. I I'm I'm, I'm just I, I'm just re- I'm just reading this now, and I'm like, oh wow. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually... Uh, I, this seems very possible. <laughs> yes, I, Dave, Dave, that, sorry, I just want Dave to continue down. because Dave has yeah. got me right now. Yeah. yeah, go Dave. Go for it. Sorry, buddy. Well, I, I was just going to say, one of the big things is that uh, there is a building. Baron Trump is the son, obviously, of Donald Trump. And let's get super technical. He's called Baron because of his title. But if mm. he was the time travel back in time, maybe they just weren't familiar with the first name Baron. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll give him that one. And uh, there was this guy, Don, 
well, they called him a Don, you know, which in that part of the country would have just been like a sir or like, you know, an yeah. overseer or whatnot. But, you know, there was this Don that traveled with him. But there's a couple things that stood out. One, there was a building on Fifth Avenue, mm. um, which comes into play in 1900 for the last president. And I'm just going to read this straight from e world. This is just too amazing because think about this in terms of what's happening in the world today. This was written in, uh, yeah, right around 1900. Uh, the final novel in the series begins with a scene of New York City in chaos, out of chaos order, right? That's what right. Called. It's early November, and a hugely unpopular outsider candidate has just won the election for presidency. But slightly familiar? Slightly familiar. Yeah, yeah. Police officers are in the streets trying to calm the growing rioters as mobs of vast size are organizing under the lead of anarchists and socialists and threaten to plunder and despoil the houses of the rich who have wronged and oppressed them for so many years. Fifth oh, Avenue wow. Ho- I know. The Fifth Avenue Hotel will be the first to feel the fury of the mob. No Fifth way. Avenue, what is Fifth going Avenue on? Hotel what is, is happening now right now? <laughs> tower stands, and those anarchists and socialists are present-day enemies of Donald Trump. Did oh. Donald Trump go back in time to save us from a Clinton presidency and thus essentially give up his life and freedom knowing the attacks that would come his way and he made sure his story got told in a time outside of space and time and not only that but but, it, it. but it's also that he could have been I'm John- in I'm in I'm in I'm sold Dude, this Why links not? up this links up everything here it got to, says that he's John Teeter and you know he yep. can't he's, you know oh this is insane well without get without this getting is insane. insane without you know, getting too anything. political guys without getting too political Every no, and this has nothing to do with the politics. Yeah, it even, it, it even, co- it, this even, com- oh, this even, this even without, covers me, magic, and everything. Can- look, can- without getting too oh, yeah. political, guys, um, like if you really think about it, if you look at pretty much the run that Donald Trump has had, a lot of people that I talk to are Trump supporters. A lot of people that I talk to are not Trump supporters, and they're Americans as well, Dave. Um, wow, and. One of the main points that always comes up is he has literally done everything to avoid a war so mm-hmm. far. And, you know, and I mean, right now in America today, today, there are crazy riots happening all yeah. over the place. It's not yeah. something that's gone out of fashion. And Derek, yeah. to your point, oh, we're not I, can't be- cover... I can't believe this. This is it's... FC. Yeah. FC, we will absolutely put a link in the description for this. Yeah. This is Go unbelievable. Ahead. Go ahead, Dave, Dave, you were going to say cool. something there. I was interested in hearing what you were going to say there. Sorry, Dave, go on. Yeah, no, no, I'm just going to say I can't even get into the whole um, me magic thing just because of time. It's not it's not worth it for y'all, but I, I will say this. Um, you got to read the articles. We'll post some connections. We'll post some things under the video. And um, once you do read that, you'll get this reference. Go back up to that have, picture, uh, Hillary, there. Yeah, yeah. I, have a, I have a pet frog, and his name is Pepe. Well, here's can one. Right? Can you can you go back up to that picture of Hillary that was there? Dave? Well, beforehand, here's one that's crazy, right? So if he time traveled, time travel woke up Keck. Keck is using chrono radiation, and to- and Keck is actually the Egyptian god of chaos. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And look, that's look insane. That before, insane. Before we do, the thing, does that hieroglyphic not look right like there? a person in front of a computer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Space invaders That's crazy, space actually. Space. Yeah. Well, before we go, Dave or Dara, can you uh, can you bring it bring it back up? Keep that there. So I want everyone that's sitting at home, yeah, to remember this person here on the left, smiling like a lunatic, could have been your president. Um, but thanks to time travel, she's not right. Well, here's one, right? Did, this oh, also- oh, here's one. Actually, I wrote down three people that wish they could time travel. Just for shits and giggles for the end, okay? So I've got the Clintons. They definitely wish they could go back in time and, and, and try and not be caught for what they do. Um, Obama. I have Obama there as well. And then I have uh, Lloyd. Not political at all, guys. Don't worry. And I have Lloyd as well there. All those three people would love to go back. Well, and, and but just... I, I, I'm sorry, Ian. I'm not done with this. This is... This is blowing my mind. I just, I, 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 I can't <laughs> even. Your excitement. We, 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 this we, is how I felt the first time I read this. I, I, I we, ran to everybody. I tried reading the full story, and they were like, "What are you talking?" We about? could, like, we don't understand. We could go six years with this, and we won't. <laughs> but 
oh my god like this ties up the mandela effect so as co- this explains it explains so much it's so I, I crazy guys i just had an idea i just had an idea this is a perfect way to uh to keep this show for the fans okay but to continue this on, let's get this on an episode of Dynamo Dozen next week, and we'll continue this and look into this. Just this theory by itself. Just this theory. Oh, yeah, the we three of us. Absolutely. I'm, absolutely. I'm way too much. Are you absolutely. in? Are absolutely. You absolutely. In? Yeah, okay. So, absolutely. guys, um, that's a good one. And I'm not doing that as a promotion thing. Dara knows that. We're all in no, this. No, it's promotion. Nerd to know media and Dynamo Dozen are pretty much in cahoots anyway. So. Exactly, yeah. Uh, well, it's going to go on the same same platforms anyway it's all, so. be, it's all going to be on the same platform yeah. so what we're going to do actually because this is absolutely intriguing stuff here for me personally as well cannot so, believe this this is we, this game changer absolute game changer we don't have a lot of time so what we will do in closing is we're actually going to um, we're going to we're going to continue this um maybe Dara, we might be able to set it up in a video chat as well if people want to uh, oh definitely we'll we'll stream it the same yeah. way we'll we'll do it the we'll exact same way yeah we'll we'll okay, we'll do we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do, 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 it. do it the exact same way yeah okay so we're going to do that that'll be Donnie Mostos's first uh, first actual video chat as well so that that will be cool mm. so the three of us are actually going to go and look into this in uh, in depth so me me magic um uh, pretty much everything we're going to the mandela effect me magic keck how this all comes back around to Trump and this this could be, this could be a four hour podcast oh it's, it's going to be unbelievable clear your schedules clear your schedules clear your schedules exactly you're going to you're going to be going like a good buddy of mine runs uh, those conspiracy guys he has like four hours all the time Gordon Rochford mm. well worth a cheap plug by the way guys. definitely good those, guy. those conspiracy guys are awesome I'm a big fan good guy and he's wished us well on our journey as well um, so um, check that out but this one could be up there in terms of a uh, going into as long as they do because this this is just blowing my mind right now i can't believe this so look i did not expect this dave thanks for unearthing this thank you dave Um, trust me nothing's as mind-blowing as the day that those five how many i can't remember how many are at the end of the post but the day they got like quintuples or sextuples come up all in sevens i don't know if it's in here yet with the donald trump will win post oh mind blown Keck was activated. It all sprung from there. Yeah. Unbelievable. I really read this article. Unbelievable. 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 And look, what we will do in uh, in preparation for it, we will um, we'll we'll pop the link in the chat. We'll get yeah. it ready to go uh, in the description. We'll get it ready to go. Uh, yeah, guys. So that's it. We're we're gonna have to call time on this, but we will be back to discuss this in very very great detail now next week. Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. We're gonna we're gonna put a date aside. Um, and we will we'll we'll give you a definitive date, but it'll be midweek most likely. Yeah. So and so we'll... so before we go there, uh, Ian, anything you want to plug? Um, well, to be honest with you, uh, nothing, not a lot to plug. Uh, although, yeah, I do have um, a really yeah, that's a good point. We I have a guy Ryan Dawson who is going to be on Dynamo Dozen next week, hopefully as well. Uh, Ryan Dawson is a guy that has uh, for anybody now that is infatuated with this Jeffrey Epstein dec- documentary on Netflix. Um, we have actually been in contact there for the last two weeks and we were planning this. Um, he has basically been um, investigating everything that Epstein has done for 13 years. So this is before it was even a cool thing to do. Um, and we're going to get the full level of what Epstein, Maxwell, and supposedly some other people are involved in as well. Um, right. It's going to involve the Clintons. It's going to involve a lot of uh, a lot of top top echelon kind of people. Um, so, but like I said, the, these are his opinions, and these are this is his research. So he's uh, he just wants to speak out about it, and right uh, talk, so that's that's pretty much what I want to plug on Dynamo Dozen. And um, that's about it. I, I guess we want to plug as well. We have the four Pod Men out now for all you wrestling fans. Uh, Dara is a part of it as well. Um, yep. Our latest episode is uh, still streaming on Spotify and any any good pretty much all of the uh all of the good streaming services we have uh, the four podmen and that is all about Triple H. It was probably our best episode yet. Yep. Most definitely uh, it's much listened to. Yeah. And then uh, I just wanna obviously plug Nerd to Know Media because uh, obviously that's that's um that's somewhere now that has become a little bit of a uh, a stay over for me. So we're obviously gonna be getting into business together and uh yeah, I, I just want uh, anybody that listens to my stuff and that listens to this show because of my stuff or whatever, uh, 
um, please do check out everything on there to know me. There's so much good stuff. But... Awesome. Dave? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like you were saying, keep your, keep your toenails posted to nerdtoknowmedia.com because no matter where we end up, there's some things coming to the site that's going to always keep you connected with all of our shows across all of our platforms. Seems like we go through a redesign every two weeks or so. Um, just an, an amazing time to watch the site grow mm. and yeah. flourish. You can find me if you're on YouTube right now. You can just look at my little name on the box here. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on uh, Instagram, especially the Dave Stevens. Hit me up. You got any questions? You like something I talked about? That you're like, no, I don't want to hear that. I'll, I'll talk to you about it. I'll send you weird private messages. It'll be totally kosher. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so, so, so be sure to do that and uh, check out the Wrestling Rewind that Derek and I host comes out every Monday live on YouTube and Twitch. And it'll be on the radio Tuesday nights and it'll hit all those good audio streaming services. On Thursdays, it is the only wrestling podcast hosted by fans who don't hate wrestling. That's so the main thing. Listening? That's the I, can ver- I can verify this. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, you know, uh, from the two guys and myself, thanks very much for tuning in. And we'll be back uh, with a lot more content. Nerd to Know Media. Talk to you then, guys. Bye-bye. Join us at nerdtoknowmedia.com. 